Hey guys, I'm so excited today. I just received this in the mail. Okay, I already finished filming it, so you're gonna see the final product. But I have a 140 piece lipstick storage kit in acrylic. Dude, look at how gorgeous this is. Ta da! I'm so excited because I have just tons of lipstick that's lying in, in you know every location otherwise they're kept in you know small containers and it's hard for me to see all of them and this display definitely allows me to see my entire collection and this is just a part of my collection I have to dig up the rest but this is the lipsticks I use the most often but isn't this amazing look at the side it's long enough for you to put lip gloss and lip tints and then you have everything else in the middle, which is shorter. If you tend to buy entire collections of lipsticks, this is really, really good because, you know, when you display an entire roll, entire roll, row, row, roll, row, when you display an entire row of lipstick and it's the same, it's just gorgeous. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I'm gonna take this thing and wipe it down with a baby wipe because most of my lipsticks are gross. Uh, 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 okay, you help me, okay? You help me, Kiki. All right, the first we have Huda Beauty. I've used that before. It's quite long, so I'm just gonna put it at the bottom. Second one, what do we have? Oh, EM Cosmetics. I actually received this directly from Michelle Fan. Hi, Michelle, how are you? This is one of my new recent favorites, Napoleon Purtis. What is it? In Grace. It's a short one, so we'll put it on the top. Okay, how Make sure that you can see what's going on. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna continue and prop this up on here so you can see. Oh, okay, so this is the Napoleon Curtis in Grace. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna put it on the top of this shelf. I don't think I'll be able to fill this up, but hold on, Kiki, no, stop. Kiki. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. We hold this, we hold this, we hold this. Hold on, Kiki. Ah, this is a NARS satin pencil. I'm gonna put, I, I rarely use that, I'm gonna be honest. Ooh, this one's so cool. Hua Xizi. It's a Chinese brand. Honestly, there's been a lot of really good cosmetics coming out of China. Like obviously, maybe not a lot of us are gonna know about this, but look at this. Can you see the detail? It's got fine carving on the lipstick. It's absolutely insane. Yes, baby. A very red. Red. All right, next we have Bobbi Brown Lux Lip Color in Brocade. This is a very plummy color, plum and purple. I totally forgot about this. When did I buy this? I don't remember ever buying this. So I'm gonna start a new roll here for like similar looking lipsticks. This one I wanna talk about, Fankle. No, no name, no color, nothing on this thing. Oh my God. If anybody knows the name of this lipstick and it's absolutely one of my favorites, Fankle is a Japanese brand that a lot of us in Asia is very familiar with. They don't have any preservatives in their makeup and I used their products exclusively when I was pregnant and breastfeeding and I love this. So it's gonna go in here. I'm actually so excited. I'm going through all my collections because honestly, I don't remember <laughs> having bought so many lipsticks. I think I could probably not buy anymore for a little bit. Oh, this is also really good. This is just from Target. Revlon Ultra HD Matte Color in HD Kisses. Really nice kind of berry-ish color. It's longish, so I'll put it here. Actually, this could go further down. Lancome in Light It Up. I don't have enough lipsticks to fill this giant thing. Too Faced Melted Latex. I think this is from a Sephora trial pack. Wonder Beauty. It's actually two lipsticks in one. Th these are all like slightly more difficult to use colors. Oh, actually this one's okay. Wonder Out Dual Lipsticks. Pinkish. I won't try on me right now because I don't even have a mirror so I can't see it. Okay, Ladded. I think I got it from a Japanese cosmetics kind of pharmacy store and there's so many of those in Asia with like very interesting products. A lot of these are testers actually. I don't know, is this Hourglass? Oh, Laura Mercier. Sensual. Very nude. Oh. Guys, obviously I'm not experienced in doing this. Sorry, I'm trying <laughs> and learning. 
All right, let's continue to put this on the rack. YSL, gotta love this beautiful, gorgeous golden sheen. I've never really cared if my lipsticks are expensive as long as they look nice on me. But occasionally when you see a really nice little packaging, you know, what's not to love, right? This is in Rouge, Rouge Per Couture, Rouge Per Couture, Couture. All right, I'm sorry I butchered your name, but it's going on here. Oh my God, some of these are so short. That I can't. Come on. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, I have a whole bunch of Bobbi Browns that I've rediscovered. I really like black and gold packaging. I think it's really classic. The lip color in Slopes 36. It's a very, it's very matte. I haven't used it in a long time. I have gotten it from my mom actually. So if you have like a darker skin tone, I think it works really well. Okay, Bobbi Brown. All the brown Bobbi Brown. Okay, random. EM Cosmetics, again, I, I loved this one actually. It's this one. Oh, shows up very orange. It's a matte orange. Works very well on Asian skin tones, like it's very brightening. Urban Decay in Comfort Matte. Mm hmm. Beautiful, right? See, none of these, I guess maybe I haven't been like overly experimental with color. No, actually I did go through a phase where I bought a lot of it. very interesting colors like um, very goth, very purple, very orange. You know, I think it works so great when I have like just an eyeliner and I just want the lip to pop. Urban Decay in Psycho. Boom. Psycho. Da -da 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 -da. This one. That's nice. Be a really nice pink. Ew, Givenchy. I got this at the Paris airport. It was not my shade. I think I wanted to purchase the shade my friend had, but they ran out. So this was the closest one. Rose Bador. This is an amazing product design. Just look at how beautiful the leather is. Um, and then with the contrasting silver chrome and their logo. Givenchy, you know a thing or two about luxury packaging and it's a very kind of a neutral pink. It's every day, every day, look. Ha! I like to just do it on my hand. Who has time for anywhere else, right? I don't have that many Chanel's. I haven't found Chanel's cosmetics to be that good. I loved Armani. This is Chanel Imaginaire. Somewhere down here, it's very long, okay. Oh Lord, this is entirely gone. What is it? What is this brand? It's like kind of dying, but I, I used to really like this too. It's a very, very moisturizing lip balm. I would have preferred it to be even darker in color. Just kind of a pretty little thing from EN Cosmetics in Rose Nude. Very pretty, this one. I'm gonna put it all here. So I thought I had a lot more lipstick, but I don't. So now my shelf kind of looks a little bit sad. So just go in here. I know NARS is like very famous for, for their lip liners, but I don't line my lips very much, let's see. Pop Life Velvet Matte Lip Color. Hmm, I don't know. It's kind of a red. Generic red. It's okay. Don't love it. Don't hate it. I'm gonna move things around as I see fit. Oh, another NARS. Where am I getting all these NARS from? I don't remember buying them. Satin lip pencil. Oh. Oh my god, this is this is a lip color. I don't think it's a really lip color, is it? Okay. Interesting. So all my NARS can go here. More Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown. Hello, good job. Okay, I'm gonna put all. Huh, I guess we can tally this by brand. Bobby Brown Creamy Matte Lip Color in Jenna number two. Okay, that's like an orangey red. It's kind of cool. Bite. Ah, I remember this one. Bite appeared on the shelves of Sephora about like three years ago. I remember liking this shade. Another very neutral, flummy, mothy color. Put it on here with the rest of my longish ones. Ink gel stick from. Ink. Wow, that's very pink. 
Probably somebody gave it to me. Another one from Bite in this orangey color. I remember this now. This is a very, very bright orange and I was really into orange color for a while. Let me show you how bright it is. Oh, it's on my hand, you don't even see as much, but here. It's very bright, it really pops. I'm gonna do a tutorial on that. All right, the last EM Cosmetics one in French nude. Oh, the, the thing I really like about the EM Cosmetics ones are the creamy texture is a cream to matte texture. Michelle, thank you so much for the product. My favorite one is actually, I think it's called Rosewood, but I gave it to a friend. William Purtis in Lauren. I also like this a lot. Very nice neutral. I've been like obsessed with this recently. I think it's time I throw away some of these, <sighs> some of these vintage lipsticks I've had since I was in college. This one can go. Hi! This Shu Imura one was from a friend. I really like it. Bright pink. Oh, I think that could go super well with some of my outfits. Big Bang. Look at that color. That's beautiful. Too cool for school. I have like a bunch of um, glossy lip tint. They're like pretty easy to use, but the packaging is just, you know, kind of not beautiful for displaying, but. I guess I could just put it up here for now so I don't forget them. Sometimes I'll still use them. Oh, this was a recent favorite. Run the World Maybelline. Also a really good everyday pink. 